the late adopter. Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel, to the new video, to the Bitcoin update, minus 1.25% right now in the red as expected because, you know, after yesterday's green candle, the big one, uh, you know, you have to have a little small pullback. You have to have a small pullback. We said yesterday, uh, possibility for a red day, day today, it's okay. Everything was overextended, so some kind of pullback had to happen. That said, I actually got something very, very nice to show you. And it's so bullish, but I'm sure it's going to be so bullish that you're going to be like, wow. I, I gotta be bullish as well. So if you are bear, if you are bearish, I'm gonna show you something so bullish that you, you're gonna be like, how do I invest in this? How do I invest in this? So bullish is that. That said, before we start, uh, I gotta ask you, do you have trouble picking coins? Uh, do you have a hard time figuring out what's good, what's not, what's pumping, what's not pumping, you know, what's, what's crashing, what's going down, what's in downtrend and uptrend? If you do, we got something called daily altcoins video. We do every day like 30 altcoins every single day. Uh, so if you want get to get in on that, uh, join the Patreon. And check the Telegram because uh, the community is really nice, really helpful. And uh, you can chat about uh, your gains and your losses. And your when you panic, you know, you have other people to panic with. It's always nice. Let's say what. Let's uh, go into charts and see what's actually happening with Bitcoin. So first of all, we're gonna start with what has happened, and then I'm gonna show you the bullish thing. That's so bullish that it's so nice. It's so nice. I'm gonna show you. It's so bullish. So bullish. So uh, two days ago, this red candle uh, put fear in everybody because we broke through the red line and white line. That's the 20 moving average, the 10 moving average. Uh, I, I don't know, however you want to look at it, it that, that's a bearish sign as it, as, it, as it can get. So only way that we can reclaim this is by getting this bullish engulfing candle and it happened. So you can see over here that this candle over here, the, the green one, not the red one, the green one is uh, a lot bigger than the red one. And that means that, uh, no, that doesn't mean that, that uh, the candle is called bullish engulfing candle because it engulfs the previous candle, right? So the candle is actually super, super bullish. Uh, that, that's the name of the candle. All, all the candles have this, uh, this is something called doji. So all the candles, uh, not all the candles, uh, pattern. Some candles has names and this is called bullish engulfing candle and it's a bullish candle and we needed that because this candle over here was so bearish that only way we could reclaim the territory is by getting something like this and then say okay we're bullish, we're back to bullishness. Not only that, we are pre previously we were above this 50 moon average, we are holding it, I went back, I went above it again and now we went all the way down back again and all the way up again, meaning that we are actually supposed to be up here. You can see today that we are actually only getting, uh, uh, with the week we went down to the 10 moving average, but uh, we are closing above the 50 average right now. Now there is still like 16 hours left of retrading, but as long as we close above 50, it's going to be good. Uh, best scenario, closing above 50, uh, then maybe above 10 and then all the way down to 20. Worst case scenario, somewhere down here again, you know. Uh, even better scenario is clo clo closing above this level up here at uh, 57,800. Uh, that would be the perfect scenario. Like that would be so bullish that there is no, there, are, there are no words that can describe how bullish that would be. Now, uh, considering that this pullback might actually continue during the day and stuff like that, I wouldn't bet on it. But if it happens, yeah. If it doesn't, eh, who cares? Uh, you know, it's not the end of the world. So now I'm gonna show you the bullish thing that's so bullish that it's like it's like gonna shake your world so hard. It's gonna shake your world so hard, man. If you, when when I show you, you're gonna be like, mm, it's gonna be nice. And for this, we gotta go to the weekly chart. And you might be saying, dude, what what are you doing on the weekly chart? What what, what are you gonna do with the weekly chart, man? We are here for the fast gains. We are day traders. What's gonna happen today? Hey, <sighs> you guys. Okay, so what I'm gonna say, first of all, is this bottom of here, like, it's nice. You, you gotta admit that this line is very nice. It's it's nice. Like, if you like the line, press the like button below. It's nice line. Um, in, when you are doing technical analysis, as long as I do, when you see something like this, you're like, nice. 
you know, so uh, hit, we hit this uh, week down here uh, very nicely, you can see here, and this week is also hit very nicely, and this is almost uh, very nicely, but we are considering very good. So these three weeks actually form very, very nice trend line up here. It's, it's so perfect, it's so nice, it's so perfect, it's... Mm. Now there are bears out there and they'll be like, oh dude, there is a there, there is a head and shoulders pattern there. There is a head and shoulders pattern. It's gonna go like this and it's gonna we're gonna crash to, to forever. Now let me do it like this for you. For people, uh, you know, they'll be like, oh there is a head and shoulders pattern. There's a head and shoulders pattern. And then like, oh if you go down there, then uh, it's game over. So if you go down there, guy, it's game over because uh, people will be like head and shoulders pattern. We're gonna go all the way, we're gonna go all the way down to 31,000, yay! And then some some, uh, some people will be like, yeah, you gained them 31,600. I'm gonna buy so much, man. Finally, another chance to get in. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna happen. So basically, this this line over here, it's superbly nice. I, I don't know if you understand how nice this line is. It's it's so nice. Wait, I, I didn't put on on the on the dollar. Let me put it on the dollar. There we go. This line is, is 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 perfect. It's perfect. There is no other way to say it, but perfect. That said, what I'm gonna show you now. On the weekly chart, beside line, line, line is good, line is nice, I understand, it's a beautiful line, but it's not what I'm going to show you. What I'm going to show you, I'm, I'm trying to extend the, uh, uh, what do you call it, anticipation, you know, build up the suspense, like they do in the movies, build up the suspense to the final moment. But we first, uh, right now we are at 6 minutes and 22, 3 seconds, so we got to wait to the 8 minutes, so I can put uh, ads in the middle of the video to make more money. So how you guys doing? What's up? <laughs> nah, just kidding. I'm gonna show you. I'm, I'm not gonna go around the bush anymore. So what we, I'm gonna show you right now is, is, uh, yeah, I, I get it. Uh, I'm not as funny as I think it is, but I, I'm drink. I just woke up. I'm still drinking my coffee, you know, and uh, uh, yeah. To my excuse, I'm not fully awake. I'm not fully awake. Okay. So what I'm gonna show you right now is that this line over here, the price is going up, right? And look down here. The RSI, this is RSI, that's something we call uh, rubber band index on this channel up here. This is rubber band index, uh, uh, RSI. It gives us some kind of overbought, oversold levels, but also it follows the price. So the time it doesn't follow the price, we call it a divergence. So this over here, it's not a regular, a regular, a regular divergence in which price goes up and goes down. So you get this line down here. And when the RSI goes up and then doesn't go all the way down, so it goes up. So you get this divergence, that's a regular, a regular divergence. And that divergence is uh, it's perfectly fine as, as well, also consi uh, uh, usually consider some kind of bottoming out because RSI didn't follow all the way through, right? This over here, on the other hand, is called something called bullish, hidden bullish divergence. So it's hidden bullish divergence and these are usually continu continuation divergences so meaning that we are going to continue in whichever direction we were previously going and now since we were going in the up or upward direction this uh, this should tell us that we are supposed to be continuing going in the upward direction as well so this is a continuation pattern this is a continuation divergence uh, this over here and this is extremely extremely bullish not and the reason why it's extremely bullish is because this is coming on the weekly time frame this is a weekly time frame uh, it means that this uh, has possibility to play out for a l longer than few weeks so that means if we start going out up if this plays out which it looks like it's gonna play out means that we are gonna eventually get above 60,000 level once we get that and close above that level that's gonna be also super bullish uh, news because we closed we, I know we went up to 65,000 but we never closed above 60,000 you see 60,000 that's the actually actually level where we close that's the actual resistance we have to break that's the actual, the actual, the actual price uh, I know people are looking at 65,000 because they are looking at 5 minute charts or daily charts or 4 hour chart or whatever chart. Uh, on the weekly chart, 60,000 is the level, 60,000 where the hedge, hedge fund money is the, the big players. They are looking at weekly charts, they are looking at this close to 60,000. And once we, now they are looking at this uh, hidden bullish divergence as well, that's going up here right now. That's the hidden bullish divergence, that's, that's so power, powerful. Uh, 
this is so big I, I don't think you guys uh, you guys that are not in tech channels I don't think you understand how big this is but this is so big that once uh, uh, this is gonna help us get above 60,000 and once we are above 60,000 uh, this uh, line of resistance will be break, uh, broken and we will continue further up now where how much up we're gonna go what's gonna happen up there that's all a different ball, uh, ball game but right now this is so bullish that if you have still been if you're still bearish and you're hoping for some kind of 43,000 back there and something like that uh, I'm just gonna tell you like uh, yeah good luck yeah what can I say that said we do this kind of analysis on a lot of all codes we we know our uh, we know our stuff so if you want to join the daily outcomes video check the patreon down below if you're not joining community check the telegram also down below that said subscribe to the channel to watch every single day bitcoin update we do it every single day first thing in the morning because it's such an important update because all your alts are actually gonna, uh, are affected by what bitcoin is doing right now bitcoin sitting at minus 0.9 percent uh, and you can see a lot of stuff is actually uh, also pulling back with bitcoin now some of it is already a lot bullish and it's starting going a little bit back up but a lot of it it's just like mm, pulling back that's it looking good looking nice uh i have uh, i have no worries about bitcoin hitting like some kind of crazy numbers uh, very soon that's it thanks for your thanks for watching see you around bye bye